So welcome back. Um, I'm, I'm sitting here with uh, Sam Shames. He's actually just about to graduate uh, from uh, the material science program at MIT as an undergraduate. And I thought it would be interesting to speak to him a little bit about peer learning, uh, partly because he says that he didn't do a whole lot of peer learning at least initially in, in his program. So do, do you want to say yeah, a, a few sure. words about so, that? So uh, I think generally speaking, peer learning is one of the things that MIT does really well. And I sort of considered myself, especially early on in my undergraduate career, kind of an exception, where my freshman year when I arrived, me and some friends, we worked together on problem sets a lot. And, you know, I was I would often be sort of the first person to arrive at the answer. And instead of having the patience to really explain to my friends how I went about getting it, I would just sort of tell them the answer. And because of that, I sort of felt like I wasn't really getting anything from the collaboration. And so I eventually just sort of stopped doing it. Um, in addition, I also sort of have the belief that you really, that sort of a lot of times what happened in those like learning is that, you know, people didn't really like to try the problem. And I felt like the only way I was really going to learn something is if I tried it on my own first. So that's really what I started doing was just work like starting a problem set on my own and then if it you know if I got stuck then I would turn to others for help but a lot of the time I was fortunate enough to figure it out um, as I sort of continued my career though especially as I got into my upper level classes um, teamwork and peer learning became much more emphasized and especially for the capstone class in material science is a big project-based class and we work together in teams and I think that was probably the first or one of the kind of turning points where I really discovered just how beneficial peer learning can be when done right. And I think one of the biggest challenges for me and one of the biggest areas where I've grown as a learner is really figuring out how to work effectively with others and how to sort of mm -hmm. match different mm -hmm. learning styles so that we can help each other. And in that project, you know, we were able to divide up the work effectively and have different people kind of take ownership over different areas, but then also come back and report and teach each other. Mm -hmm. And I think learning how to actually explain what I've learned as opposed to just sort of trying to do it and then tell people the answers has been one of the biggest improvements for me. Mm -hmm. um, and do you feel like, uh, you know, sometimes peer learning, helping others, uh, almost seems like it slows you down, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're trying to do something, you're Absolutely. trying to do a project now. Uh, and it sounds a little bit like you've maybe also changed your mind about this yeah. and, as you did more of it. Do you want to talk yeah. about that a little bit? So I think I definitely, you know, my freshman year, I definitely did think it slowed me down. And I was like, why should I do this? I could just complete the problem set faster on my own. And sort of, I think what I've realized is that the act of explaining something to another person mm -hmm. and really helping them understand and solve a problem that you've solved deepens your own understanding tremendously. How? 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 how I say, think, say a little more I think, about that. you know, there's almost a sense in which, like, you're not always necessarily conscious of or like completely aware of how you've gone about solving a problem. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you try and explain it to someone else, you know, at first times you often stutter and you say, oh, well, I don't really know exactly why I did that. And you really have to think more deep, mm -hmm. deeply. And, and maybe, to, maybe they'll ask a question that actually you hadn't absolutely, asked yourself before. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Basically like, you know, and oftentimes you'll explain it something to them in the way you've thought about it and they'll have no idea what mm -hmm. you're talking about. And then you realize that, okay, well, is there another way to think about this? And I think, you know, the way to really learn something is to explain it and teach it to someone else. Mm -hmm. And let's say, like, the other way around, if you're an undergrad at MIT, right, it's a pretty high-pressure, you know, environment. Like, there are a lot of expectations. Absolutely. And and so often people will, you know, not everyone will be able to solve of all course. their problem sets. Do you think it's, like... Who do they turn to generally? Like, who, where, where do people go for mm. help? Yes, I think, uh, so I think, you know, living groups are kind of the big space, whether it's in your dorm or in your fraternity, and then sort of friend groups. And you see, you know, and in the classes I've TA'd, I've seen that students will kind of just spontaneously form groups throughout the semester and work on problem sets together. Um, I think, you know, myself included, but everyone at MIT is going to find something that they're not going to be able to understand on their own. And arguably, one of the biggest challenges for MIT students is actually asking for help. Because sort of okay. coming out of high school, they're used to kind of being the people who, you know, never had to ask for help or other people came to. And then you get here and the course material is just so much more challenging that there is that thing that you just can't understand. Mm -hmm. And it can be so frustrating. And I remember that experience for me. And at first I thought, oh, there's no way I'm going to ever understand this. and was so down on myself. And then, you know, I actually had to turn to a friend and ask them. And I remember just how amazing I felt when they, when it finally clicked. 
Mm-hmm. And, you know, I was so grateful to them, to my friend, for being willing to explain that to me. Mm-hmm. And I think that sort of knowing when is the appropriate time to ask for help, because it's not before you've tried something. Mm-hmm. I think you really do need to try something on your own, work on a problem set, struggle with it, and then if you're stuck, then turn to a group. Mm-hmm. So now today, you know, if I'm working with a group on a problem set, what I'll sort of suggest everyone do is everyone look at the problems on your own before and sort of jot down whether or not you think you know how to do it or not. And then when we come together, we can really focus on the ones that have given each other trouble or explain the things that we're each uh, uh, feel confident at. Yeah, I mean, for, to me, it's this is fascinating because... Um, you know, learning uh, kind of that it's legitimate to ask questions seems like such an important skill. Absolutely. Right? Like, and having maybe by seeing other people do this or having other people model this, uh, you know, we could help more people do this earlier. Oh, absolutely. Because it's the same here, right? Everyone who arrives at MIT has the imposter syndrome. Yeah. Right? They all think, oh, my God, how everyone else that? here is so much smarter. Yeah. Like, oh, how absolutely. the hell, like, once they're going to find out that I'm not as smart as they are, you know, I'll never be able, packing, yeah. I'll, they're going to send me packing, yeah. Um, and I feel like helping, pe- and that prevents peer learning. Right? Because people close down, they, mm-hmm. they don't ask questions, and they actually delay, you know, their, both their success, but also how, how much they enjoy being oh, here. Oh, totally. And so, if we, do you have any thoughts on how we could make that um, easier? I mean, I think, you know, one thing that, MIT does really well, is at least at the undergraduate level, your first semester here, you're on what's called pass no record. So all of the final grades in your classes, whether you get an A, B, or C in your transcript, just go down as a pass. And if you don't pass, nothing goes down. Mm -hmm. So I think what that really does is sort of takes away the pressure of succeeding academically and instead makes the emphasis be on figuring out what you need to do to be successful. And I think for most people, the majority of that is figuring out when to ask for help and who to ask for help from. Because I think, you know, there's both... You know, the professors and TAs, but a lot of times your peers are far more accessible. And more importantly, they sort of speak the same language. So they can sort of explain things to you in a way that you're more likely to understand than sort of a professor who has no idea what it was like to struggle with, you know, multivariable calculus. Yeah, so this is the, this is the point actually that I, I often make about peer learning, that even though the professor may know a lot more, uh, because they know so much more, it's much harder for them to explain in a language that Absolutely. makes sense to you. But if someone has just learned it, you know, a few months before or even a week before, mm-hmm. they still have a sense of what they struggled with. They still kind of, they may be able to Absolutely. explain it in a way that makes a lot more sense. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, that's interesting. And on the other hand, I always, because when I started thinking about this, mm-hmm. I thought, well, but there are some professors who are able to do this. Yeah. And I feel like they're almost impersonating someone who is closer to me. Yeah. Right? Like they are so much advanced but because they understand where I am, they can impersonate the right distance, yeah. and then then it makes sense again. To yeah, me. I think that really makes sense. Anyway, thank you very much. No um, this was really me. really useful learning about yeah. peer learning at, at MIT. All right. Well, thanks a lot.